So what we're going to work on now is dealing with diprotic and polyprotic acids. All of the acids that we've dealt with so far have been monoprotic. A monoprotic acid is one that has only one H plus ion that it can donate in an acid-base reaction. It might have more hydrogen atoms, but it only has one acidic H plus. So a diprotic acid is one that has a total of two hydrogen ions that it can donate in an acid-base reaction. And polyprotic, poly means many, so this is gonna have more than two. H plus ions that it can donate in a reaction. When we have an acid that is diprotic or polyprotic, each one of the hydrogen ions gets its own Ka value. So for this problem that we're gonna work on, we have H2CO3. It has two hydrogen atoms, H2, and that means that it's going to have two Ka values. It has a Ka1 and it has a Ka2. The Ka1 corresponds to the first hydrogen that comes off of the molecule, and the Ka2 corresponds to the second hydrogen that comes off of the molecule. So when we are asked to calculate the pH of a diprotic acid or a polyprotic acid, we have to take into account that the acid has two hydrogens that it's going to lose and all of those hydrogens that it loses together are gonna to contribute to the pH of the solution. We treat each hydrogen independently, so we don't get all crazy and just write a reaction like, hey, do, do not write this down because this isn't right. We don't write a reaction where all the hydrogens just fall right off the molecule all at once. Um, this is not balanced. It would need to be balanced. But this isn't how, this isn't how it works. Like this, that's not the reality. Each hydrogen falls off one at a time in its own separate reaction. And so we treat this almost like it's two separate pH calculations. And this worksheet sheet is gonna walk you through those multi-step calculations. So the first thing that we're gonna do is set up an ice table for the dissociation of the first H plus ion using Ka1 because that's the one that corresponds to the first H plus. So to set up an ice table, remember we start by writing our acid, H2CO3, and remember it's always plus H2O every time and in equilibrium. And because this is an acid, one of our products is going to be H3O plus. Our other product comes from the hydrogen ion being taken off of the acid and transferred over to the, the water molecule. So what we have left after that transfer is HCO3 minus. So there's our balanced chemical equation and now we need to make an ice table. Our initial concentration up here, it tells us our initial concentration is 0.25. Initially, we have no product. We don't know how much this is gonna react, but we know that it's gonna be some amount, we're gonna call X, plus X and plus X on the right side because of the stoichiometry. And once this gets to equilibrium, we're gonna have 0.25 minus X, and we're gonna assume that X is really small relative to 0.25, so it's just gonna be 0.25, and our products are gonna be X and X. And we're gonna use uh, the equilibrium expression, Ka1, to solve for x. So our equilibrium expression, Ka1, is H3O plus times HCO3 minus over H2CO3. Plugging in what we have from this problem, Ka1 is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 7. H3O plus and HCO minus are each x, so that's x squared. 
and H2CO3 is 0.25. So now we need to get our calculators out and solve for x. It's going to be 4.27 times 10 to the minus 7. Multiply that by 0.25 and then take the square root. x is 3.24 times 10 to the negative 4. In the next video, we're going to go over the next step.